number one, um, the United States government is completely dependent on the private sector for their non-cash money transactions. And I think that's stupid because everyone says we need to get rid of cash. This is cash is a bad thing. And, um, it's especially bad during the coronavirus because you can spread germs. And if that's the case, then why wouldn't the government have their own way of exchanging money between people, which is very connected to blockchain, but isn't necessarily blockchain. Um, I don't, I don't think it's regular cryptocurrency. That's for sure. Um, but what it would be is when a person gets cash in the form of digital cash, but they don't have a bank account. Um, there are certain credentials associated with that cash and they can consolidate cash by putting it in a bank account. And then that would erase the former ID numbers for the cash. Um, like say, say that someone gives me $250. Do they have to put it in my bank account? No. What do they have to do? They have to put it into cash. But what is cash? Well, that would be um, a username and a password um, that leads to a value that is an ID number. I mean, theoretically, or two-factor authentication, I, I, which is like your cell phone um, text message combined with you giving a password um, combined with your username turns into um, what represents your cash. All right, so uh, what I'm saying is um, the government should be in the banking business, but not in the banking business, in the digital cash business, um, in a way that the, tra the, the, the cash isn't, um, the cash is still free. Because what's the great thing about cash? I got $5,000 in my wall. You know, it, people like having cash and I, I like having cash. Um, but what's the great thing about cryptocurrency? I've got $5,000 on my USB combined with this, combined with my password. Um, so what I'm talking about is sort of like cryptocurrency, but without the cryptocurrency rules. Um, so um, that's, that's what I'm recommending. Um, her face does not look that bad in real life, I don't think. Maybe I need to make her skinnier. Um, it's supposed to be my Mimi. Completely screwed up on it. Um, didn't completely screw up, I mean, but um, I screwed up as far as making it look like her. Um, but anyway, so uh, those sable brushes, you don't, you can't use them at all until you get to the end and then you're like, thank God I have this brush. Um, that's my opinion on them. Um, but I, I think the red sable was probably equally like, I, I would never get one. That's not a filbert. That's, that's my new opinion. Um, or like a flat or something, something for blending. All right. So, um, the, the FBI, their favorite thing is to shoplift or to tell people they shoplift. So you're best friends with them and they always have shit and you're like, how do you have shit? You don't have any money. But you're not, you don't actually think about their money. They're thinking about their money because it's weird how they want to make sure you think they're broke. So they talk about shoplifting so much and they get, they, or, or they are in shoplifting to prove that they're, to prove that they're criminals. I know because, um, when I was going to do a hunger strike, I got a ride from some guys and one of them, um, shoplifted and it really made me feel uncomfortable. And then they had counterfeit cash. They love, they love committing crimes in front of people. But when you are all into shoplifting and you always have new stuff and then you're hanging out with a criminal and w you're hanging out with someone that you suspect of being a criminal and they don't know that they're suspected of being a criminal. And then you're so obsessed with shoplifting and you always have new stuff and you always get away with it. And then you get them to shoplift. Uh, and then eventually they get busted because you don't even pro shoplift probably. You just say you shoplift because you want to tell them why you're, why you have stuff. I'm just saying, um, I don't think you guys should, you guys should do that. I mean, like really, I mean, I, I, I it's like everyone shoplifts that is an undercover with, that's an undercover FBI person. It seems like, 